Hello, I'm Colleen Yates, and welcome to another episode of our show um, with RDA Perth. I'm the CEO, and today we've got a wonderful guest. We're going to be talking with uh, Masood Ashbar uh, with Magellan Power. Welcome to, to the show today. How are you? It's a pleasure to be here. I'm fine. Thank you, Colin. So, um, Magellan Power, can you tell us a little bit about your company? Yes, uh, Magellan Power is a manufacturer um, and designer of everything to do with batteries uh, and application of batteries. So, we design and manufacture uninterruptible power supplies which use batteries and also energy storage, a new wave of energy storage that is, uh, that is coming. Brilliant. So uh, what, when you talk about batteries, exactly what do you mean? Are you, um, you, do you assemble the batteries? Or do you design the batteries? Okay, no, we use the batteries. Yes. The batteries, uh, we have been in, uh, in operation for 27 years. Wow. And in that 27 years, we have been designing equipment that uses batteries. So we store energy in batteries and then we convert them to, to usable uh, forms and, uh, and we use them. Fantastic. So um, it, it, with that, uh, it, it sounds like you're a little bit like uh, uh, doing the same thing that Tesla's doing. Is that correct? Yes, that would be very, very similar. Yes, we actually um, started uh, in energy storage before Tesla. Yep. Before Tesla uh, saw this as an opportunity, we were actually doing research and development in, in that area because everything we did was to do with batteries. And so um, all we had to do was to get our designs to do slightly different mm -hmm. function, which is grid-supported uh, storage of, of energy. Okay. So, so with what Tesla is doing over <coughs> in South Australia, uh, are you capable of, of doing that? Of course, uh, we are uh, in that uh, energy storage is basically uh, converting the, 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 the use, the, the, en the energy into a form that can be used, that can be stored in, inside batteries and then retrieving that energy and feeding it back into the grid. We have developed all of that um, technology and so we are capable of, of manufacturing um, with small uh, residential scale energy storage all the way to large uh, utility scale energy storage, which Tesla has. Supplied. Fantastic. So you're, you're uh, located uh, where? We are located in, in uh, Bibra Lake in Perth. Um, and uh, we've been operating there uh, in Bibra Lake for about 10 years, but before that we were... Somewhere else, yeah. So, with your um, the grid power storage, uh, what what type of systems do you do you produce? How how big are they? Are they little or? Okay, this is like a tsunami of application for uh, the battery energy, um, and um, so that so there is a we the, there is the, the applications are uh, from small, which is residential. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, it, and it gets bigger to commercial and industrial uh, applications and, and then uh, you go into remote area, energy storage, um, edge of the grid um, uh, power and also utility scale energy storage. It is all very, very similar um, systems with very similar controls. Um, basically, you're converting the, the, the power, whether it is from wind or solar or, or from a grid, mm -hmm. uh, into something that the, the, the battery can, can handle. You, you, you store it in there and then you retrieve it. So up, up till now, um, we have been producing energy. We as industry have been producing power and, and energy, but we've never been able to store it. Mm -hmm. There are other storage as well, but not on the scale that we are talking about. So for the first time, we can now um, efficiently store it and retrieve it. 
And is this because uh, uh, primarily of the lithium um, ion batteries, or is there more to it? <clears throat> there are many forms of batteries. Yes. And there are there have been batteries for the past uh, two hundred years. Yeah. But lithium battery is the the most efficient battery at the moment. There are other batteries that are um, being research being researched, and some of them are close to commercialization. But it is really lithium battery which is going to carry us forward for the next, I would say, 20 years at least. That, that's what I've heard. Um, with RDA Perth, as uh, you're aware, we've done work with, in partnership with Curtin University and uh, the other RDAs and the Quinana Industry Council around um, establishing um, the, the business case uh, to have Lithium Valley here in WA. And I think it's really fantastic. To, to have met you, to know yeah. that we actually have someone doing batteries. Yeah, of course, yes. <laughs> and, and application of batteries. And, you know, we have so much um, resources in, in this country, and one resource is lithium. Uh, we can process that lithium um, into, uh, into batteries by, uh, by investment. And then those battery cells can, that's where we take them. We take them from the cells. So we need someone to make the cells. And then from that moment, we will then take it further to uh, useful batteries in the form that it can actually um, store the energy. Uh, batteries are no longer just uh, electrochemical uh, devices with two terminals, positive and negative. Uh, these days, batteries are very sophisticated. They have very sophisticated electronics for, for balancing and, and also for communication and, and uh, data logging. Um, and all of that we, we in Perth have, have produced. So all that we need as a company uh, is just the raw battery, battery cells, to turn them into very useful devices. Wow. So uh, it, it sounds like you've developed your own intellectual property around batteries. Yes, we have. In the past 27 years, we've been developing intellectual properties in, uh, in uh, all forms of conversion of, of energy uh, from AC to DC and storage um, and, and different applications that's, that they have. So what's one of the most interesting projects that you've developed batteries for? We, we have been developing, uh, as, as I said, if, if we are talking about batteries in the form of storage where gr or grid-supported um, storage, uh, then uh, that we have been doing that in the past nine years. So we're one of the pioneers in this, uh, in this field. Um, and um, so that's what we've, we've been doing. That's where the, the intellectual property is. And um, so we have developed... Uh, the, the, the applications of these batteries, as I said, from, mm -hmm. from residential all the way to utility scale. Yeah, I've seen um, your residential power pack, mm -hmm. um, which is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you've got, do you have those on the market? Yes, we do have them on the market. And uh, to tell you the truth, we're waiting for some investment mm -hmm. uh, because this is not something that you make a few of. We want to make tens of thousands of them. Mm -hmm. And we have standardized this uh, this device to the point where it is very easy now to to make thousands of them, and that's that's the way you would treat a, a mass product. Yeah, and and I also understand that um, you you've you've done uh, some projects in Africa. Yes. So what 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 are those? We, as I said, uh, we are a technology company, so we we find applications for batteries. One of the applications of, of uh, batteries is a, so, uh, is a solar pumping system uh, and, uh, backed up by, again, lithium batteries. And we uh, have a, a, a product in a, in a container that we, um, we, we put in, in place with solar on top of the container that gets the pump, the water pumps running mm -hmm. uh, during the day. And at night, the, the battery comes in and, and carries on the function so that is uh, we 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 make those for australia but also for africa that is absolutely brilliant so with with um you know the, uh in the past we've had um issues with fire around esperance and there's been lots of talk around um western power and how it's going to deal 
with the, it, its energy grid system. Yes. Because it's very expensive looking after all those poles, and there's a lot of controversy around you know who actually owns the poles or who yes. should pay for the poles. So what would your solution be um, to dealing with that? Well, it is a very difficult task to supply such a large uh, state like, uh, like ours. Uh, and, and so uh, there are remote communities that have to be supplied and, and these uh, poles and wires go a long way. Um, it's, uh, and, and it's inevitable that they become unreliable through to, uh, due to fire and floods and, and, and other incidences. Uh, the best solution for that is a standalone power systems mm -hmm. where you have solar power uh, generating power during the day um, and that power is converted to AC, the form that can be used for, for, for appliances, uh, in appliances. Uh, and, uh, and then at night, and, and that energy is, is, uh, is stored in the batteries, in the efficient lithium batteries. And then at night, you have the battery that is supplying all the appliances. Now that goes in, goes day in, that day out, and that's yep. a very, very reliable system. Then if the sun doesn't shine for a few days, which does happen, then there's a generator, mm -hmm. and, uh, the, and there is a microgrid, there is a circuit which we call the microgrid. This microgrid actually controls all different individual parts of this, uh, this power system, mm -hmm. and uh, and that makes it completely seamless. So the so the user doesn't know what is on, what is not on. It's very seamless. And so during the day, the the solar comes in and and, and feeds the 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 house or or um, the, the application that is there. Mm. At night, the battery comes in and occasional occasionally, very rarely, the uh, the uh, generator comes in and. Uh, it is designed really so that the generator hardly ever comes on. Oh wow! So it sounds like it kind of stabilizes the whole system. It's yes, it, because renewable energy by itself is not is is erratic, of course. Uh, it stabilizes the system in that it it knows the, the sources of generation, mm -hmm. which is renewable energy, the, the stored uh, energy, and also the the generator, and it controls all of that to make sure that there is the power that the, the, uh, the, uh, the load receives is mm. uh, uninterruptible and it's actually much, much more reliable than what the utilities can do. Wow. So um, <coughs> obviously you design these types of systems. Yes. Um, and how long do they last? They, will, they should last a long time because now uh, the, the batteries are becoming really good. And all of these things have, have been waiting for a, a good battery. Mm -hmm. And now the, that's, that's arrived and it is at the moment lithium, but there are other batteries that will come as well. But at the moment for that type of scale is very much lithium. Um, so from residential all the way to utility scale, you can use lithium batteries. Uh, and they come with... 10 year uh, warranty. Oh wow, yes. 10 so years. So they will, they, they will work for 10 years. The, the inverter, which is another side of it, also works for 10 years. Uh, and the generators are just standard type of equipment. They, they hardly come on. So they are extremely reliable, I would say. So is it possible with these types of systems, let's say, I, let's say I'm a farm out somewhere, and I were to uh, purchase this type of system, and let's say a fire was coming through, is it is it possible to protect them, or is I mean, it the, easier uh, to the, protect the, them? The, uh, yes, they are. It is because it's localized. Yep. Uh, there is no poles and wires to to come to you, so so they don't you you don't so suddenly get taken by surprise that there is no power, and so it is localized. If there is a p fire in in another place, it's not going to affect. Yeah. Uh, the, the owner of this uh, standalone power. Yeah. And so the, they, uh, they generate their own power. Of course, that's a lot more reliable and a lot more stable. So I, I, I guess you can set it up where you can have you know, irrigation systems on, you know, to get them turned on. Absolutely. With a bore uh, yes. that's all run by solar. Yes. And wow. We have different applications for those. We, have, uh, we, we wouldn't be using a, 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 a very uh, sophisticated uh, inverter 
uh, that produces um, a really high quality sine wave mm -hmm. uh, to r drive a pump. Um, the pumps can, are, um, are driven by pump drivers, again, electronic devices. Mm -hmm. And the energy for that comes from solar. So all that you need for to, to drive a pump is just solar and um, uh, and and the so and, and the pump driver. The, then to continue this process, you would put a battery. So the battery is is only a backup for that. Yeah, and, and will continue the, the the operation throughout the night. So, um, what do you think about the the direction uh, that everybody's moving into globally? Because there, um, you know, there is a push that um, the internal combustion engine it will be um, obsolete at some yes. point in the future, and a lot of excitement around um, uh, countries looking to divest out of fossil fuels and power grid systems. And what does this mean for you? And what do you think? <coughs> well, we've got the sun that uh, that's been there for as long as. People have been there and long far uh, before that as well. It comes on every night. It gives us <laughs> so energy. So far, so good. Uh, so far, so good. So as long as we don't interfere with it, it will just keep on coming and giving us energy. And uh, that energy can... And it's act. windy. Yes, and, and, and the wind comes. And, and if we don't do anything about it, they just annoy us, don't they? So we can now turn them into something very useful, right? We can desalinate um, the water from the sea, from the energy, that's all we need. Um, we can turn the, the, the sun, the heat, into beautiful cool, uh, which is by air conditioning, because we've got energy. So yes, that will continue. And, uh, and also to bring electricity to areas of the world that, that, that it doesn't exist uh, because of it, its remoteness. Uh, it's fantastic, fantastic times. Now we can pick up a, a remote area of power or, or standalone power and, and take it anywhere and, and put it there. Suddenly they have a, a, a generator that, that doesn't uh, produce noise or pollution or anything. It just produces beautiful energy. So this must be very exciting times for you. Absolutely. We are very excited. We, we have generated a lot of knowledge uh, in our state. We work with our universities and uh, we are constantly giving them um, really high level projects to do and, and they will produce these fantastic equipment uh, and f fantastic ideas which we turn into commercial reality and uh, it's all for, for, for good reasons. So if anybody wanted to check you out, you have a website? Yes, uh, it's www. Magellan Power, which is our company, .com.au. Okay, brilliant. Well, uh, Masood, I'd like to say thank you very much for joining us on our show today. And thank you to everyone out there for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.